alert about music. We are delighted to welcome the lovely David Pacey. Good morning, David. Hooray! How are you? <laughs> oh, hi. How are you doing? Yeah, very well. How are you this morning? Yeah, I'm all right. Good. I'm good to be here. It's been a busy time as well for you at the moment, isn't it? Because obviously following on from Holby City, you got the new movie on Happy Birthday, which obviously came out over the Halloween period. Yeah, it did. Cause so it's quite peepy. We're a little bit late. <laughs> a little, little bit late getting you, but we finally got to. You're a little bit late, but I wouldn't worry. It's, it's got some great reviews. Obviously, it was in uh, Boys Magazine, QX Magazine as well. H- how did you yeah. get involved with this? Um, yeah, it's done really well. I mean, um, yeah, I, I got asked by uh, some friends. It was really it's two friends of friends. They've been looking for an actor to take, to take the lead role, the lead role. And, um, and I was available. I'd just finished touring on a play, and uh, I, I kind of thought it sounded quite interesting. And, and I hate horror films because they creep me right out, so I thought it was a really good reason to do it. I thought maybe if I did one, then I'd be less scared by them. So, would you say? Would um, you say it's a full-on horror? Because it's quite psychological, isn't it? It's more more thriller, maybe. Yeah, it's more of a thriller. It's not really. I, I was um, because we, we we shot it on such a, t- a tight budget. There was really no money for any special effects or any kind of real actual kind of horror. They, they tried to go for a suspense angle, I think, and I think it's just more creepy and unsettling, which I, I, I quite like, actually. It puts me right on edge when I... Uh, Any time I've watched that, I just felt really creeped out. Yeah, Scott, Scott here is not a big fan of horror films, but no, you're No, I'm not, you're David, because, I, well, too much blood and I get a bit queasy. Oh, no, I don't like them at all. They I know. Just, oh, no, I, I, I end up with my head in a pillow the entire time. <laughs> How would you sum the film up? Would you say it was psychological thriller? Yeah, that's how, that's probably how I'd describe it. Yeah. Now you've got a girlfriend in the movie as well, but you do get some man-on-man action as well. Yeah, I'm just I'm slinging it always. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fussy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, the shower yeah. scene, by the way. There is a shower oh, did scene. You? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I think that was picked up by the gay press quite a bit. Obviously, understandably. Yeah. Naked and soapy men. I can't imagine why the gay press would be interested I in know. naked soapy men. I know. Now, <laughs> it's not obviously your first gay role. I mean, you're an openly gay actor as well, but you, you starred in a movie called Sweat, which uh, that was screened at the London Lesbian and Gay Film Festival, wasn't it, a few years ago? Yeah, that was actually my friend John that introduced me to the filmmakers that made Unhappy Birthday. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that was I that's the second thing I've had at the London Lesbian Gay Film Festival. So it's a nice event, actually. Um, yeah. I still have more stuff on there. Yeah, set in a sauna. I can't imagine what attracted you to the movie in the first place. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? We we filmed that in the sauna. And they were like, oh, guys, we're going to have to open the sauna and let some customers in, right? So we're filming the film and these guys are wandering past in the towel. And we're like, hi, don't mind us. (laughs) (laughs) Slightly Um, less controversial is your uh, role in Holby City. Obviously, you're, you're playing a gay character in that as well, which was the midwife, wasn't it? Ben Saunders. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And he, he struggled to come out as well. So quite a, you know quite an interesting role in the fact that obviously a lot of people maybe that were about to come out themselves were watching. Did you get feedback from people that, that were still yeah, in the closet I, as well? I, yeah, I got a lot of, um, lots and lots and lots of really cool letters from young people, um, uh, young teenagers growing up and coming to terms with their sexuality. I used to get that quite a lot when I, uh, back when I was in Holby. But I think because it was such a big show and having having a major storyline about, about those kind of issues really kind of at that time really kind of was important to a lot of young people so I was glad to do that at the time. Now David I've got to ask you about the sex scenes so not that we're you know we've got sex on the brain or anything this morning people no, probably know that's the case. Um, if you were playing straight roles do you think this would be potentially less embarrassing I mean how difficult is it for, for your gay sex scenes that you've done it, is it something that you just look at as professionally you don't actually think oh, of it well, as a sexual yeah, thing? So I, I, I've done straight sex scenes and I've done gay sex scenes yeah. and I've done I've, 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 in fact in the film on Happy Birthday I've, I have one with a boy and a girl yeah. um, and, and, and it's always it's always awkward and a bit strange and it's more choreographed than you'd, you'd really think it would be it's not very spontaneous and it's not really very sexy a bit clunky yeah you just feel yeah. like this is when I'm going to move my hand here and this is when I, and it's and you kind of want it to look intimate and so you're trying very hard to think about those things and and so you're th- thinking the whole time so it's not really like sex at all and you were no. voted uh, Britain's sexiest male by uh, Gay Times as well yeah, that's a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> did, you, did you get you know, more kind of interest from guys after that? I mean, because I'd imagine you would have had that anyway. Oh no! Well, well, I think at that point I was with my partner Alex. Yeah. So I wasn't. I wasn't really. You weren't looking anyway. I wasn't really on the market at that yeah. point. Oh, um, you're very modest, though. Um, We've seen the yeah. pictures, and especially honest, the new no, ones. They had, 
they had an online poll, right? And I'm sure my mum was on there clicking away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mothers know best, though, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> this week we're ma- uh, marking anti-bullying week, and I know that obviously the issue of homophobic bullying in Scotland is something yeah. that you've been keen to publicise in the past as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did some work with um, LGBT Youth Scotland and Stonewall Scotland. Um, and Yeah, and I'm hoping to do some more, actually. So try and do as much as I can. <laughs> We've got <laughs> a really... Get asked. Yeah, uh, we have got a, a good question from Paul Burston, the gay novelist, who um, actually asked you if you plan to direct more theatre, because you've done I that do. as well. I do, yeah. I'm setting up a theatre company at the moment, yeah. um, and I'm hoping to direct again next year at um, the Edinburgh Festival, so I've got my wee theatre company, it's called Component Parts, and, and um, we directed last year, and we had quite a lot of success with it, and um, I'm kind of gearing things back up for another another it's a new role for me because I, I haven't really I never really thought about directing until I did it and um, and I really enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to doing it again so, quite challenging isn't it challenging. yeah it's a, it's a completely different discipline and, and being in charge of so much stuff and because and, and, I'm used to thinking about the one character in a piece you know my character and, and, yeah. and that journey was you're the director you have to think about everyone else's journeys and you know you've got about about 90 million things that you're juggling around I love it, actually. I do love it. So yeah. I'm looking forward to doing it again. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. And um, Paul's got another question as well. What do you think of closeted gay actors, generally? I find it quite surprising. There was something in the news about a gay actor who... I'm not going to name any names or anything, but he, he's, he's gone back in and he came out about eight years ago and, and he's, he's just in a film at the moment. And then uh, his, his publicist has come... And he's kind of been in because he's trying to break America. And I think it's the strangest thing, you know. I thought we'd really moved on. That um, is bonkers, though. To go back in, it's hard enough yeah. coming out to go back in again. Yeah. Yeah, and I just didn't really think it was that much of an issue anymore, to be honest. Um, uh, so it's kind of sad to see, and I think it's that's largely driven by the American industry because things aren't starting really like that over here. I don't think there's any kind of bar or any hindrance to an actor's work in the UK. Certainly not. I've certainly not found that. And yeah. um, I think it's sad when people feel that they, they, they can't necessarily be themselves. But then... It really isn't anyone's business what someone's sexuality is, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't really affect their work, and it shouldn't really be of any interest to people. But obviously, people do care, and they are interested. But um, it's just another facet of a person's being, you know? Absolutely, just, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't agree your more. your colour, your eye colour. Yeah. Funny. And, it, and it's, it's my business, or your business, and, and, you know, the moment when we get past the, the, uh, caring so much would be a good thing, I think. That's beautiful, David. Beautiful. Listen, thank you very much for coming on, David. It's great chatting to you. That's all right. Anything. And good to have you on Gaydar. Listen, we wish you all the best with the theatre stuff, your, your acting work that's continuing, and the uh, movie, of course, on Happy Birthday as well, which is oh, out. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for coming day. on, David. Yay! No worries. Good to have you on. Passionate about music.